Remember what Manny said. Walk in like you own the place. Walk in like you own the place. Okay. My word. You're the owner. I don't know how many of you there are, but I'll kill every last one of you before I let you get to her. I finally succeeded at balancing your checkbook, Frau Wilhelm. Looks like I'm your new favorite employee. Just a moment. I, I worked so many hours. So many. Oh, Harlan Brusner. You know what? She lives next door. Mr. K's erstwhile romantic associate. How does she get in? She doesn't knock, doesn't announce herself? Someone left the door unlocked. How could I resist a surprise visit? You leave the door unlocked. For any miscreant to come in at their leisure and murder us? What's next? Leave the window open and give us all ammonia? Hmm? Reckless endangerment, two counts! I am sorry to have caused alarm, but this is false imprisonment. I entered, but I did not break. This cannot be considered a burglary. No one said you were a burglar. You're suspicious. For all I know, you could be far more dangerous than a burglar. If the hair fryer says correct, and these keys open the apartment next door. I'll release you. Don't let her out of your sight. <sighs> totally but God. But you get a cigarette from my bag. And fun for yourself if you like. You know, Mr. K detests the smell of smoke in his apartment. He won't be too pleased to learn that you brought cigarettes in here. Oh, he won't be angry with me. We think you'll be quite taken with the additions we've made to your facility since your last visit, Mr. The Owner. On your right, you'll see your new state-of-the-art dark room where we detain uncooperative suspects for up to 15 business days in the pitch black. And right across the hall are your restrooms where officials and suspects alike can stand relieved of duty. Do all of you find that funny? Please forgive me, Mr. The Owner. I, I didn't mean to offend you, Mr. The Owner. If you deem me worthy of punishment, I will willingly submit, Mr. The Owner. Stop! It's okay. You can get up. Thank you, Mr. The Owner. The rumors of your piercing fury and beneficent compassion are not exaggerated, sir. <laughs> um, I I'm not... I don't think I'm who you think I am. Goodness me! Your immeasurable modesty is less often spoken of, but I should have expected as much. No. <laughs> I, I mean... You really believe I'm Mr. The Owner? Is, is this what I looked like last time I was here? Oh, I wouldn't know, sir. Your last visit was some time ago, before I started working here. I happen to be the only one here at the moment, but 
I doubt any of my co-workers have seen you either. Do they also admire me? Like you? Of course they do, Mr. The Owner. They adore you. The lot of us live by your example. And having met me, do I seem like the great man you imagined? Have I disappointed you at all? Heavens no! Not for an instant! And I consider myself an excellent judge of character. I'm trying to work my way up to judge, you see. Hasn't been easy, what with the higher-ups always trying to push their children down your tubes, but meeting you today has inspired me never to give up. Well, I'll see if I can put in a good word for you. Thank you, Mr. The Owner. Your magnanimity is unparalleled. Is there anything I can do for you? Perhaps you would like a latte. Oh. Your latte. That won't be necessary. But I do need to speak to the EM. Is he here? Which EM, sir? The one... The sad one? Mr. Smiley. He's been running rather late recently. Your latte while you wait. No, thank you. But... I would like to... Wait in his office, if that's possible. For you, our beloved Mr. The Owner, anything is possible. Here we are. Sit so wherever you'd like, it's yours after all. And while you're waiting... I would love it if you would permit me to ask you I'd about... I'd like to wait alone. Absolutely. In spite of what I said earlier, not all of my co-workers admire you as much as I do. They say you're a sadist, and that the foundations of your empire lack basic human compassion and decency. But I recognize all of these as essential components of your genius. The world needs more men like you who are not afraid to serve justice by any means necessary. And having met you, I have never been more certain. As I said, I'm an excellent judge of character. It's been a pleasure, sir. of the doubt, time and time again, only to find you here, sneaking into my office, stealing my documents. I was putting this back. I didn't even open it. This is a, a huge misunderstanding. On the contrary, it is a huge understanding. And to think, I was considering granting your request for a deferral after you planted that bomb in the hospital and cost me my left eye. I didn't bomb the hospital. And who did? The bomb fairy. I have no idea. It was nearly empty that day. Ms. Birchner was there. Was she the culprit? Of course not. She isn't capable of that. What's wrong with you? You cannot clear your name of mere bombing. You expect me to believe you did not defile that file? It took me losing half my vision to see the truth. You are a menace to society who would tear down human lives and even bureaucracy to get what he wants. The court can do no more for you. Your request has been processed and has been denied. <laughs> do you reconsider my offer, Fire? Lucky as Mr. K would be to have your lawyer, I simply couldn't, wouldn't be able to... Marry me? Go on. Say it. 
Let me propose the following. Rather than marry you, I will grant you explicit verbal consent to touch my right elbow three times a day. This should help curb your wild, burning yet understandable desire for my body. This woman isn't in love with you, you dolt. Anya Bursner. This is precisely why I tell the examining magistrates they need to put photos of the relevant parties in their case files. You have a file on me? That's so flattering. What does it say? It doesn't say. So your status as an American resident is contested. We'll have to add that. Do you say? I didn't tell them you were here. Your affairs are none of my concern. Unless you do get this unlikely citizen to marry and thus naturalize you. A marriage of convenience for citizenship? But why not Mr. K? It would never work between us. We're too similar. You must be quite fond of the States, if you're willing to marry this sorry tube of meat. <laughs> I don't believe in the idea of freedom. Hmm. I like you, Bursner. You will go far in this world. Mr. K, are you all right? You look like you haven't eaten in 25 minutes. I invited Fräulein Bursner inside for a moment. I hope you don't mind. Uh, it's, uh, nice to see you, Miss Bursner. Funny running into you here. I trust your meeting was useless. Um, my, uh... My trial is... in a week. <coughs> it seems that if I do nothing, Mr. K will... Surely be found guilty. Very well. We have a deal. Is no one going to help Herr Ka? Hmm? He's vomiting, he's so scared. Oh no. I, I, I fear vomited an hour ago. I'll, I'll be fine. I, ugh, it's, it's, it's just the smell. It, did someone light a cigarette in here? I believe it was Hans. But Fräulein Bursner, it was you! <laughs> <laughs>